गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक द टॉपिक इन जावा रूट्स यूजिंग जावा इन दैट आई एम गोइंग टू टेक द टॉपिक ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्टर्स राइट राइट व्हाट इज अ कंस्ट्रक्टर कंस्ट्रक्टर इज एक्चुअली डिफॉल्ट मेंबर फंक्शन ओके व्हिच इज इक्वल टू व्हेन एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज क्रिएटेड राइट व्हाट द व्हाट इज द मेन कंस्ट्रक्ट ऑफ द कंस्ट्रक्टर इट इनिशियलाइजेस द वैल्यूज व्हिच आर देयर इनसाइड द क्लास ओके एंड See here, I am going to uh, tell you what are the different types of constructors which are there. Okay, first one is default constructor. Second one is a parameterized constructor. Okay, what is a default constructor? A default constructor is the one which will be invoked. That means we do not have to provide a constructor. Even though we do not provide a constructor, that constructor will be created, invoked, and it will inserts the data. Okay, what is the data? For suppose here I have a constructor. Class over here. Class, class in the student. In the student, we are having two data members. That is, uh, integer ID and string is name. And also, uh, constructor is there, right? Uh, when we create an object of a constructor, object of a class, then automatically a constructor is invoked. And what does it do if a constructor is not there? The default constructor will be invoked. And what does the default constructor do? It will initialize the values to Zero and then one, right? Okay. Then, if at all, there is a default constructor, and second one, which is nothing but parameterized constructor, which I am going to take today. Okay. What does it do? It is nothing but a constructor having the parameters, right? Parameters, you know, that is that it will take arguments. That means uh, constructors also similar like uh, functions. Uh, Of methods in Java, what terminology or language is Java? Is methods. What does it do? It takes arguments and it will do the processing which is there inside the function. Here, parameters are something only that one only. Constructor taking the parameters, right? Right. Then, in every Java program, there are you know two two parts. That is, first one is so the one the class which we which inside is the main function will be there. And if we are going, we are going to use any objects for that class, that class will be provided the information, right? Here we are. I am writing a class demo. Okay, inside that class we are having a public static void main function string R S. Inside that one, I am creating two objects that is S1 and S2, and I am calling two functions functions S1 dot this and this. Okay, right. Now. This this particular file is saved with the demo dot Java demo dot Java right that particular file is saved with the demo dot Java why because there is a main function public static void main function is inside written inside this demo class that is why this is saved with the file name demo dot Java. And you know that when it is compiled, we created a demo dot class, and when we execute, that class will be executed, right? Right. Then, in order to demonstrate the use of or demonstrate the parameterized constructor, we need what we need. We need a constructor. That is, I have to write a constructor. This is a constructor which I have written. And remember that the constructor is this is the constructor that does. Okay. Remember that. Remember that in a constructor, constructor what is that? It is a special number function which will have the same name as the class. Here the class is the class name is student four. Here the constructor we are writing the constructor name is also student four. And what is that parameter? It means it has two parameters inside. The first parameter is int i and the second parameter is the string n. These are the two parameters. What does it do? They will as soon as that the object is created, this constructor is invoked, and here we are passing the arguments. These arguments will be passing over here, and what are we doing? We are doing here assigning the value of id and name over here. Okay, right. Then let me explain this program. What is it? As of now, you are you are aware that what is the default constructor? Default sorry, parameter constructor. Parameter constructor is nothing but constructor which takes parameters, right? The implementation of this parameter constructor is I am going to show you. First, what is that? I have to write a class. Okay, this is the class in that 
what are these two these two are data numbers data data numbers and i am writing a constructor over here this part is a number the parameterized constructor parameterized constructor right and here this part is a number a method okay a class will have data numbers and methods and constructor is also a method right but it is a special method having the same name now that of a class then what i am doing in order to use this class i have to write a main function okay the main function is this one public static void main as you know that public means it is available to all the classes static means only single component is there void means that it will not return anything and main is the one from where the program starts that is the main function okay this is saving this is taking rs r is what is that this is command line arguments if at all you need to set the command line arguments or if at all you want to do with something like something with command line arguments we use this argument as okay as of now you can keep that side okay right then what is the first step i am doing i am creating an object i am creating another object of what of this class right student yes one object is created and you know the syntax how to create is a number class object is equal to new is a keyword and constructor with parameters i am sending two parameters one is triple one and other is a curl this is a integer this is a string and in this statement as soon as the statement is invoked that means that statement is executed what will be done this object is created and constructor is invoked and for this object s1 s1 of of this will be there this is s1 part this one is s1 dot id and this one is s1 dot name okay this is a entire object which is created object with id and object with the name is there right right and if we invoke this object if we create this object triple one will be saved inside will be sent to this and triple one will be saved inside the s1 dot id similarly name current is saved in s1 dot name that means here 1 1 1 and the name is current is saved inside this object similarly when i create another object student s2 is equal to new student 4 what will happen this object is created that means another object is created that is s2 dot id and s2 dot name is created right then this particular tribute to will be tribute to and arjun will be sent to this part okay this argument here this tribute to is saved into s2 dot id why because who is calling this one s2 is calling that's why s2 of id is filled with the tribute to and s2 dot name is filled with the with arjun right Arjun. Till here we have come. Then what is the next step? I want to check this. That means I am using the statement s1 dot display. This display is written inside this function. Okay. What we need to display inside this? There is something like system dot out dot println. I have to print the id and I have to print the name. Right. Right. Then that means. This will be invoked, and what is there inside this display ID? Whose ID? S1. Why? Because we are calling this function with the help of a S1 object. So S1 ID will be there. That will be printed over here. The output screen will be like this. Some more like this output screen. What will be there? Just the printing one, one, and one. Space will be printed. Why? Because we are given a space, 
contactation with the, the name that is nothing but Karan. K-A-R-A-N. Karan is printed over here. That is the first statement. Okay. Similarly, I want to display, that means I want to display the information of the second object. What is the second object? The second object is S2. Okay. S2 is the second object. That means S2 print of display will be called and I am printing this ID over here. What is this ID? This ID is what is there inside that one? Tribute 2 is there inside that one. Okay. Hence, Tribute 2 will be printed over here. Next, a space will be printed. Third one, an Arjun name is there now. That name will be printed. A-R-J-U-N. Arjun will be printed over here. That is nothing but our parameterized constructor. That means a constructor which is taking parameters and what does it do? It will be invoked when an object is created. Okay? This is our topic for today. That is parameterized constructor. And if you are having any doubts, I hope uh, you can ask me. I will be clearing that doubts. Right? Otherwise. Let me continue with the topic. That means, what is there? Uh, uh, let me have a review of what you have done over here. That is, I am writing the, writing the, listing out to what we have discussed in today's class. That means, I have discussed about the constructor topic. In this constructor, first of all is, what is a constructor? Constructor, that means, It is a default method. Okay, it is a default method which is invoked as soon as object is created. First point is clear, na? right? Second one, what is the speciality? What is speciality? That means in what is a speciality? It is a function. It is a special function. But what is the speciality? It will have the same name and of the class. That is same name and the class. First one it is a default method. Second one it is a having the same name and the class. And what it will do? It will be invoked when an object is created. That means an object is dynamically created with the help of new. Okay. And C has two ways of creating an object that is statically and dynamically. Whereas Java will be having only dynamical creation of object. That is why. This is the only procedure to create an object. That is the third one, how to create an object. Fourth one about the constructor is, there are two different types of constructor. What are the two different types I am writing out here? Types is, first one is default constructor. Default constructor and second one is parameterized constructor. Okay, default constructor means, even though if you do not provide this part, okay, this part, the Java will provide the default constructor. That means, if we create an object in here, then, then the s1.id and s1.name, s1 id will be assigned 0 and name will be assigned to null. Why? Because we have declared this name as a string. Okay, that is the default constructor. And the last example of this, this is the most important which I have covered the in today's topic, it is parameterized constructor. What does it do? It takes parameters. Okay. Default constructor, the other one is constructor to parameters. That means without parameters also constructor will be there. If you don't provide, it will be given automatically. If you provide it without uh, this parameters also, it will be there. Third one is a parameters constructor, which takes parameters. First parameter, second parameter. Similar to the same constructor, use the second time, first parameter, second parameter. And uh, this is with the syntax of writing this is the constructor same name of the class and it is taking two parameters and in that parameters I am ID and name that is I and N. Right? Right. This is the implementation for parameterized constructor. Understood? And you know what will be going in the memory? In memory for S1 object, first part, second part will be there. For S2 object, ID part, name part will be there. And when printing will be getting from the memory, this will be 
printed from this, taken from memory like this. How it is accessed? S1 dot ID is accessed. We are calling this display with S1. That is why S1 dot ID is accessed and printed over here. And second one, how is this? This is S S1 dot name. S1 dot name is nothing but with the help of S1 dot display. We are asking the display of a first object name, hence the name will be displayed. That is a color. Similarly, S2 will be displayed over here. Triple two and RJ will be printed. Understood? This is the topic which I have taken today. Hope you all of you understood this topic. Now, right? Shall I conclude the session? Right. Thank you.